Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to enable or disable SQL Server agent jobs and also how to start job at later days. And we'll be doing it um, enabling, disabling job using SQL Server Management Studio and using T-SQL script. And we'll also be playing with job schedule and how to enable and disable job schedule and how to update job schedule in to run in later days. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is my SQL Server Management Studio and here is my SQL Server uh, agent so in order to go to jobs you need to expand SQL Server agent click on jobs and you will see all the jobs so let's say this is my uh, backup job uh, it uh, this job uh, takes the backup of all databases including uh, system database backups in order to um, disable this job using SQL Server Management Studio you need to right click on the job and you can start from here disable right here that's the one option you could do as soon as you will do that you will see that a little arrow pointing downwards that means the job is disabled and another way in order to uh, enable the same job using the same option we're gonna go ahead and enable it right click and enable the job another way you could do it right click go to the properties and up here you have an option enable and if we take enable out that check bar out and click OK you will see that it's disabled and in, in order to in, enable the job using properties option you can go ahead and click on enable and click OK and you notice that uh, little red arrow is going um, went away so <clears throat> that is uh, using SQL Server Management Studio how you uh, basically enable and disable a SQL Server agent job now let's go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio and uh, enable or disable a SQL Server um, a job schedule so in order to go to the SQL Server job schedule you need to right click and go to the properties and you will see option select a page option right here and first you will see the general option in order to go to the schedules you need to click on schedules and you will see right here uh, the first glance will tell you that um, the ID of the schedule is 3 uh, the name of the schedule is weekly run and status is enabled and description is right here you can view the schedule just clicking up here and see or you can go ahead and click on edit and you will look at the schedule in order to enable and disable schedule you have an option after you went in the schedule up here enable so if you take this check bar out you need to click on that and click OK that means this job schedule is disabled so uh, this job be became um, on-demand job it is not scheduled anymore so you need to go ahead and click OK let's go back and enable our job schedule so we're gonna go ahead and go to properties and schedules and right now it says enable no so we're gonna go ahead add it and click on enable as soon as we will click on enable you will see uh, up here it'll say enabled status yes so let's go ahead and do that and as you can see that uh, uh, this schedule is enabled so um, you need to click OK and that's when it's gonna take effect so let's go ahead and uh, move our schedule to later date we do want it to enable the schedule but we don't want this job to run this week we want to wait for some days uh, in order to start this job in order to start this schedule so schedule needs to be uh, there so but we do uh, want it to start at particular later date that we want it so we're gonna go ahead right click go to properties if you haven't defined the schedule you need to define the schedule of the job so let's go to the schedules and add it right here um, if you look at it um, start date so the start date right now is set for 3 uh, 31 so we're gonna go ahead and next month the first week of next month we want it to run so we're gonna go ahead and go to April 2015 and we're going to go ahead and select okay run it on Saturday at 4 so if we click OK it does need to be enabled here in order to run it in later days so we're gonna go ahead and click OK now this will run on it's, it'll wait until April 4th to enable this particular schedule so we're gonna go ahead and click OK 
So this was using uh, SQL Server Management Studio and let's go ahead and load our script, uh, T-SQL script, how we can manage the same thing using our T-SQL script. So I'm going to go ahead and load my T-SQL script. All right, so uh, there are different options of this, this script. First, right here, it says um, uh, disable jobs. All you need to do is update the job and here is the job name. You can provide also the job ID here. It takes uh, um, either or, so job name or you can provide job underscore ID and get the ID of the job from sysjobs and provide that to, it'll work the same way. So in order to disable the job, you need to basically run update job and at enable needs to be zero. When it's zero, that means it's disabled. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, so job is disabled. Let's refresh. As you can see that it's disabled. So we're gonna go ahead and enable it, enable the same job. All I did was at enable from zero, I made it enabled it to one. So let's go ahead and run this and refresh our jobs. As you can see, it's enabled. Now let's go ahead and look at the uh, disable the schedule and as you know that if you go in schedule the schedule name is weekly run and uh, up here the right now it's enabled it says yes so we're gonna go ahead and disable our schedule for now and let's go and make sure that it's disabled as you can see enable status is no so it is disabled so let's go ahead and enable this using the same SP underscore update schedule. So we're gonna go ahead and execute and refresh. Let's go in the schedule and as you can see right here, it's yes. So this is how you enable, disable the schedule. Now let's go ahead and basically uh, do the update, the schedule, start schedule time is uh, 4, 4. Let's do that 4 4. So we want April, we want this schedule to start from April uh, 2015. So what we want to do, April 4th, 2015. So right here is a year, up here is a month, and right here are the days. So this is how uh, underscore active underscore uh, at active underscore start underscore date. Um, up here the parameter needs to be defined and as I said that in, in uh, job you can provide the job ID or you can write here at schedule um, I'm sorry schedule ID or schedule name right here so what we are going to do is add name and we will name weekly run All right, so what we want, let's take a look first that when it starts, and we may change it, April 4th, we're gonna go ahead and make it basically March 31st. Just to confirm, let's go back real quick March 31st but after our script runs it should change it to April 4th so let's go ahead and do this command completed successfully so we're gonna go ahead and refresh it and let's go to the properties schedule edit and as you can see the start date has changed to April 4th so basically this is um, Basically, this is how you enable disable SQL Server agent jobs using both uh, SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL Script. And you can also manipulate your schedule, uh, enabling, disabling, or running the schedule in later days. And I hope this video helps.